It was always a respected dance company, but when the Joffrey Ballet left New York City for Chicago more than 10 years ago, the controversial move guaranteed its future as an American dance treasure. This year, the Joffrey has been celebrating 10 years in Chicago and 50 years as a company. On the Art Beat, here's Fawn Ring with more. That would be nice. He's been with the Joffrey Ballet of Chicago through more than 100 premieres, countless rehearsals, and many broken toe shoes. But he's not a dancer or a choreographer. Herb Migdahl has been the official photographer of the Joffrey Ballet of Chicago for 27 years. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But calling him a mere documentarian doesn't do his role justice. I'm an image maker for the company. My title is a graphics director. It's my job to closer, really closer, get closer. illustrate okay. the beauty of the company. No. His photographs have been collected in a new book as part of the Joffrey Ballet's 50th anniversary celebration. It's a combination of the beauty of the, the dancers themselves, and they really enjoy moving, and I love watching things move through space. When I first started, I felt that photographing dancers destroyed it because I felt that I was freezing them, and that wasn't appropriate. The thing that Robert Joffrey always said is that makes a performance and a company more special than anything else is creating magic. The magic of the Joffrey Ballet lies in its lush traditional dances. But it's also known for thought-provoking 20th century classics. and groundbreaking original modern works. Robert Joffrey and Gerald Arpino launched the Joffrey Ballet in 1956. They dreamed of creating a classical dance company with a uniquely American sensibility. Unlike other small companies at the time that were performing reduced versions of the classics, the Joffrey immediately set itself apart by touring with all original work. We started with a station wagon and a U-Haul trailer. And we started canvassing the entire United States. We danced in every, every small high school, every Baptist church, with the dream and the hope that one day we would capture the American audiences to the great company. As the company grew, it stayed true to the original vision to cultivate new American dance and to respect the classics by reviving important works. I think that the heart of the matter is the creativity of the Joffrey spirit. I think that has not changed. After Robert Joffrey died in 1988, Gerald Arpino took over as artistic director. But he had little time to choreograph. Much of his energy went to dealing with the troops' growing financial woes. Oh, that's beautiful. The company went through another major change in 1995 when it uprooted from its longtime home in New York and moved here to Chicago. It's fair to say the past 10 years have not been easy, but the Joffrey's financial situation has stabilized and Chicago has embraced the company. Okay, ready. Somehow in coming to Chicago, things change because we suddenly became the company that we always had the potential to be. One indication that it was a good move is that Arpino choreographed again in 2003 for the first time since Robert Joffrey's death, tackling a subject very much in the news, the death penalty. And the company reintroduced some of its masterpieces, including Nijinsky's Rite of Spring. Most of the day-to-day -day artistic duties now fall to Cameron Bayston and Adam Sklute. But at 77, Gerald Arpino is still very much in the picture. It's his company, and he wants to know that it's being run the way he wants it. His comfort level is really being in the studios with the dancers, with his ballets. That's where he's the most at yeah. home. That's where his relationship with the dancers is. I think whenever Arpino is choreographing, 
He's totally in love. He is totally in love with his choreographing. And he's in love with the dancer that he's working with. Now, as Arpino and his dancers celebrate 50 years as a company and 10 years in Chicago, they are excited about the future and can look back on their history with pride. So many wonderful things have happened to the company since it came to Chicago. That was something that really Arpino wanted. He wanted, he felt that he had such good support here. And he was right. And wonderful things have happened. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Fawn Ring. As part of the 50th birthday celebration, the Joffrey Ballet is performing free of charge June 13th, that's tomorrow, and June 15th. For details, you can visit our website at WTTW.com and click on Chicago Tonight. You can also find a link there to buy Herb McDowell's book of dance photographs.